let's take a look at some filters that are inside your engine your outboard engine okay first off it's very easy to see because that right there is your low pressure fuel filter you change these out regularly There they are. It's very hard to see if they're super dirty until you compare them against a brand new one. Now I keep used ones in a container here wrapped up with the model number, the tag from a new one. Just to compare, I keep used parts just around because many times it's good to have a comparison. Now, I changed out my, this is a Suzuki high pressure fuel filter, and that is the last filter in the line before you go into your injectors. This is the in, that's the out. It is I assume they call it a high pressure because, and I'll tell you, it's really simple. You want to check it, you want to check it, get a brand new one, and go to the end. This is right here, it says in, and blow on it. I did that with a brand new one, and it's a whole different story. I blow through it, and the other one, the brand new one, blows through, actually blows through a lot easier. So this is the in, that's the out. What we're going to do here today in a short video tutorial is I am going to take my one-handed Makita reciprocating saw. That I got to get a battery. I forgot to put the battery in it. I'm back. I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to cut the top off of this just to see what it looks like after being in there for longer than I had these in there. Longer than I had these. So let's give this a shot in my beat up old vise here. You know, cutting filters open is a big deal on the YouTube. There's guys with entire channels of cutting nothing but oil filters open. Alright, so here we go. So, be prepared for some noise. goes in and that's it. Then, wow, that's in there. That's really in there. And man, does it possibly look really dirty. Really dirty. I guess it's glued in there. It's kind of a, you know, like an element. If you can see that, it's very, very dirty. This filter is much, much tighter than, say, this one. Much, much tighter. So this one right here, boy, can that easily clog. I guess we may have to do an old cut down the side trick here. I want to see what this is all about.
You know what? This filter is like sixty something dollars. So that's the real reason I want to know what the hell's going on here. This is either dirty or just the way it looks. Oh, it's glued in there, man. This ain't a cheap Fram filter. That's a hell of a case. Right there. Alright, well. This was wrapped around like that. Ooh, man, does it smell like gas. Alright, so, let's see. This can't be black just from being dirty, can it? Looks like it's got numerous parts and pieces here. Woo! Alright, well that was like the whole bottom. Oh, that's weird how this is put together. It's just not rolled around, that's for sure. What it is, it's like folded and then big time spun around and glued onto that piece right there. So, that is the inside of my Suzuki high pressure fuel filter. And see how what it is here is it was actually two pieces like glued together and then this was a whole nother actually yeah like two pieces glued together like that so very interesting well, that's how wide it was and it is just some kind of you know Paperish. Whew! Man, the smell coming off of this thing. Enough to gag a maggot. Or gag a motorhead. There you go, folks. I do not know if that is dirt, but it sure is coming off of my hands. I'm wondering. Yeah, it's coming off of my hands. So, what you got? You got all that? You got one hell of a lid, since it's a high pressure filter, that's a hell of a case. Then this is just like a ribbon that was running across the bottom. Let's see how tough that is. It's pretty tough stuff. Whew, man, I can hardly breathe. <laughs> Whew, man, this is enough to gag a maggot. Alright, and then it was all spun around this. That this fuel goes down into here. This was spun around. Then I guess it has to purge back, it kind of purges back out. And then that's the outlet. And it was off, the outlet was offset, so it's not directly in the center of the case. So, there you go. Low pressure fuel filter inside your Suzuki, which this ain't nothing compared to this. And the high pressure fuel filter. I'm wondering if, I don't, it's kind of hard to imagine if that's dirt. See how black this is, entire thing is? Wow. I mean, I would, I would not know if, how do you tell? You can't really tell if that's dirt. So, there you go. This one, I believe, about $28. This one, about $63. So, that's what's inside your high pressure fuel filter on a V6, on my V6, 250 Suzuki. I just always wondered because it was so expensive for this filter. Not like everything is expensive. Maybe.
these outboard companies to do the maintenance correctly and use their parts, they're taking you to the bank. And there's the glue. That's some high dollar stuff right there. That's some big time. That's some big time type glue. All right, stick a fork in my ass. I'm out of here. I'm done. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you found it educational or informative. Because here at Captain Dave Sport Fishing, we have the need to know. See ya. Sitting around the house, got nothing to do. I think I'll go fishing. Scare away the blues. I'm going fishing. Late.